Okay, now we're talking about the derivatives of the non-big three. I'm talking about sine, cosine, tangent. No, I'm talking about secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Yes. Here we're taking look at we're taking the derivative with respect to x of the secant of some other function. That's going to be the secant of that function times the tangent of that function times the derivative of that function using our chain rule. And then the derivative of the cosecant of u. That's going to be minus the cosecant of u cotangent of u du dx. Okay. The derivative with respect to x of the cotangent of u is going to be minus the cosecant squared of u du dx. And yes, when you take the derivatives of all the functions, it's going to be negative. But then of course you have these rememberized, because here at Math by Fives we have standards. At MathByFives.com we have standards. And you may want to use standards to remember these big three. All right, now that we have those derivative forms rememberized, we can go through and we can hit up a couple of examples. I'm taking a look at this man. Yes, I want to take the derivative of the secant of 3x. So here we're going to see that our u is going to be 3x and our du is going to be 3. Okay, so if I'm taking the derivative, y prime. Uh huh. That's going to be that's going to be the derivative of the secant. Was the secant tangent? Yes. So then, this is the secant of 3x times the tangent of 3x. And then I need to multiply that by the derivative of the argument, which is going to be 3. I'm going to rewrite this guy. Y prime going to be 3 times the secant of 3x, the tangent of 3x. And at that point in time, we'd be Whoa! And a flower. Which brings us to our next one. It appears to be a product. I wish I had a method of taking the derivative of a product. If I did, what would I call it? The product rule! Uh-huh! Okay! So I know it's gonna be the derivative of the first... times the second! plus the derivative of the second times the first. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get it, get it, the derivative here. This is gonna be two x, uh-huh, because I bring it down and um, subtract one. It's our uh, power rule, yes. The cosecant of two x plus Oh, wait, wait for it. The derivative of the cosecant is going to be minus the CSC, -C, cosecant of 2x, the COT, cotangent of 2x, times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of the inside here, we see that going to be 2. Okay, and then I'm still multiplying it by that x squared. Uh huh. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to write it a little nicer and here we go. Okay, this is 2x times the cosecant of 2x minus, bam, bam, right? Because it's these guys times those two functions, 2x squared. Okay, um, um, cosecant of 2x, cotangent of 2x, and then what? Poor planning on this last example. Look at that. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. What are you going to do? If you had y was equal to g of x to the third, and then you were taking the derivative of that guy, y prime was going to be um, 3 g of x to the second times g prime of x using my chain rule. Using this rule, I'm gonna tackle this problem. But I don't necessarily have enough room here, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, whoa! Come on down here. Okay, here we go. If I had y was equal to the cotangent 
um, of 2x, here I've rewritten it to the third power. Um, trig is notoriously lazy. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So if I'm looking for the derivative of this guy, y prime, uh-huh. I know I'm going to take the derivative of the outside, 3 times the cotangent of 2x to the, wait for it, second, and then I'm going to multiply it by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of the cotangent is the cosecant squared of the argument 2x times the derivative of the argument, or 2. Oh, let me clean that up. Quite nice. Okay, 2 and 2, because it's this times that. 3 times 2 is going to be 6. Uh-huh. Then this is going to be the cotangent squared of 2x times the cosecant squared of 2x. Yes. Yeah. Box it up and grow a pair of flags.